Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Drop. And today I have here two of Adidas' best hoop shoes. I mean, a lot of their, I mean, pretty much all their hoop shoes are really nice performers. And Adidas' lineup has improved dramatically over the past couple of years. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously the AE1, AE1 low is really, really nice. The Don Shoe 6, also one of my favorite hoop shoes. But also the Dame 9 and Harden Volume 8 are really, really nice performers. As far as the price goes, there is a pretty big price difference. The Harden Volume 8 retails for $160, which is uh, that's pretty dang expensive for Adidas, uh, or I guess in general, right? Uh, and then for the Dame 9, however, it is retailing for $120, which is a very, very good price. I mean, this Vape collab is $160. Uh, but the retail price of the day nine is 120 bucks. So if you guys do want to cop either of these shoes, I try to leave an affiliate link in the description box. Um, and if you do choose to get either of these shoes, it does help me out if you uh, buy it through the affiliate link in the description box or the product pictures underneath this video, or I try to leave a link uh, right over here. Uh, and as always, thank you guys so much for all the support. But let's get it started right off with the track Shiones, right? So for the Dame 9, we have a fully translucent outsole, and then here for the Harden Volume 8, I guess it's semi translucent for this purple part, and then around it is solid rubber, right? So yeah, the uh, overall outsole pattern is very, very different, but how does it perform? So if you're playing on a clean court, both of these are top tier. You have an amazing bite, uh, and you stop really, really hard, and pretty much you stop on a dime, right? But if I'm gonna nitpick, uh, the Harden Volume 8 stops a little bit harder, right? The Dame 9, even on a clean court, it slides out, slides just a tiny bit more than the Harden Volume 8. But like I said, Dame 9 is still really, really good on a clean court. Uh, however, if you're playing on a dusty court, both of these shoes pick up a little bit of dust, just a tiny bit, and you are going to need to wipe. But the Dame 9 picks up a little bit more dust, and also you're gonna need to wipe a little bit more frequently. Uh, so there is a little bit of a difference there. The Harden Volume 8 is better on a dusty court. Again, it, it still picks up a little bit of dust, but it picks up less dust than the Dame 9. And as far as durability goes, the durability, I don't know, Dame 9, the rubber is pretty dang soft, you know what I mean? And uh, the grooves aren't that thick either, so I don't think the dur uh, durability of the Dame 9 is going to be good on an outdoor court. The Harden Volume 8 also doesn't seem like it'll be that good. You know these circle parts? These uh, The circle parts have pretty soft rubber and thin grooves. Their herringbone is also pretty soft. Uh, and also where the purple is, it's not super hard either. So I, I don't know, I feel like both of these would not be great on outdoor court. So the durability pretty much tied up. So uh, yeah, as far as like, just overall, the Harding Volume is just a tiny bit better because uh, it's a little bit better on dust. But still the Dame 9 is nice. It's just, if you let a little bit too much dust build up here on the Dame 9, it does slide out kind of dangerously, right? So there's that, moving on to the heel to toe transition. So here in the Harding Volume 8, we have a nice rounded shape and kind of exposed midsole, you know what I mean? So it's not really clunky at all here in the heel. Coming here to the forefoot, we got a nice curve shape and a good amount of forefoot flex with good torsional support, right? So the Harding Volume 8 is pretty dang smooth. And uh, here in the Dame 9, same thing. It's very, very smooth. Although it is a little bit flatter of a shape here in the heel, it is a lot softer for the overall midsole. So it actually is very smooth here in the heel. And then coming here to the fourth, we also have a nice curve shape and also a lot of forefoot flex, right? And also has a little bit of springiness to it as well and good torsional support and torsional rigidity. So overall heel to toe transition is pretty dang similar. They're both very smooth. And now moving on to the cushioning setup. So the cushioning setup is uh, a, the biggest difference, I would say, for both of the shoes, right? Uh, but also the upper is kind of different as well, but not as different as the cushioning setup in my personal opinion, right? So the hard volume eight is using a uh, mixture of boost and light strike and then uh, the Dame Knight just using full-on full-length light strike, right? So as far as the overall compression goes in the heel, the Harden Volume 8 has less compression, right? So this is probably just an EVA foam and there's not too much compression from the actual outside of the shoe, uh, but it's still kind of nice, especially comparing to the Harden Volume 7. However, the Dame 9 has a lot more compression here in the heel. It's softer. There's also a tiny bit of bounce back, but it's not, Light Strike isn't super bouncy, right? So uh, not that bouncy, but it's just softer here in the heel for the overall compression. Uh, and also, uh, as far as the overall core feel goes, I would say uh, the Harden Volume 8 is just a tiny bit better for core feel, right? So as far as the heel goes, uh, the heel in the Harden Volume 8 
is a little bit higher up off the ground, right? And also there is a, a higher offset here in the Harley volume eight. The forefoot is very low to the ground and the heel gets a little bit higher up off the ground than the Dame nine. The Dame nine, the heel is a little bit lower to the ground, but then the forefoot is uh, a little bit higher up off the ground than the Hardens, right? So the Dame nine is a little bit more of a flatter offset. You know what I mean? So that's a little bit of a difference in feel, but also step and comfort is a little bit better in the Harden volume eight uh, because it has a softer strobe board, right? So if you look at the strobe board, uh, it's actually pretty soft. You know, if you're just feeling it with my finger, there's a good amount of give. You can see also the cutout in the heel that exposes the boost. So uh, just, you know, underfoot cushion in the heel and also in the forefoot is better here in the Harding Volume 8. The Dame 9, the strobe board is a little bit stiffer. However, once you break it in, it does get a little bit softer, um, but it's just not as soft as the Harding Volume 8 for underfoot cushion, right? Uh, and also uh, for overall impact protection, they're both pretty dang good. You know, if you're doing heel strikes, landing really hard in the forefoot as well, I was covered, I was good to go in both of the shoes. However, I would say the Dame 9 is just a tiny bit better, uh, especially here in the heel if you're doing heel strikes, right? Although the Harden volume is still pretty nice. So the cushioning setup, uh, I would say they're both pretty dang nice. It's just like it, they're both good in their own separate ways, right? So if you want a little bit better core feel, but with better step and comfort, then the Harden volume is going to be the better option. If you want a little bit more of like a softer uh, like midsole crush uh, and also a slightly better impact protection uh, but also like uh, the underfoot cushioning is a little bit stiffer then uh, go with the Dame 9, right? So in my personal opinion, I would go with the Hardens. I like Step and Comfort a tiny bit better. So there's a cushioning setup there. Moving on to the upper. So yeah, I really dislike the Dame 9 material. You know what I mean? Like once you break it in, however, it's not that bad. You know, it conforms your foot somewhat well. It feels really supportive. It's just really thick feeling for the overall upper. You know what I mean? Here in the Harding Volume 8, uh, here in the toe box, we have, or oh, in this colorway, we have this really cheap patent leather in the other colorway that I have is like a really crappy kind of suede, like synthetic suede material, right? So I don't like this material at all, but it's really thin. And then we have like a, this uh, inner booty. It's a stretchy type of material. It's like this knit material and kind of goes all the way into the toe box as well. So that feels really nice on top of my foot. But also the Dame 9 is pretty much a one booty upper as well. Right? We, but it is a different type of material. It's a neoprene booty instead of like this knit material in the Harden Volume 8. Uh, and honestly, I like both. Uh, if I were to pick, I, I I would say I like actually like the Dame 9 inner booty material a little bit better. You know, I like this neoprene. I just don't like this kind of like synthetic leather material that the Dame 9 has, you know, around the entire toe box, you know, in the toe box as well, uh, here in the midfoot too. Uh, also, I'm not a huge fan of the foam here <laughs> in the Harden Volume 8, but I think it's a lot less thin and a lot less kind of like, um, like cumbersome on foot compared to the Dame 9. You know what I mean? Uh, and as far as the ankle padding goes, it, uh, Dame 9 also is a little bit thicker. So the overall kind of upper does feel a little bit stiffer and uh, a little bit more cumbersome for the Dame 9. The, the Harding Volume 8, it's still kind of stiff. Once you break it, it does get a little bit, you know, uh, a little bit better for like conforming to your foot and all that. Uh, but it just feels a lot less bulky, right? But in the heel for the Harding Volume 8 is where it feels a little bit more bulky because of all this, you know? So yeah, overall quality, I feel like Adidas needs to do way better. The quality of their materials is not that nice. Like this is not nice. There's a lot of crease marks as well, but also for the Hardens, like this foam feels really cheap. And also with this, it feels really cheap. So there is the upper there. Moving on to the fit. So I went true to size for both of these shoes and the Harden Volume 8 fits me way better. The Dame 9, it's, it, it, it's pretty roomy here in the toe box and also width wise, it's not super snug for me. You know what I mean? Like I would say a little bit wider than normal to like normal width. Uh, the Harden Volume 8 is just a really nice snug fit. Here in the toe box, it's a little bit more snug. And also for the width, it's a little bit more snug for me as well. For my foot shape, also for the length, the Harden Volume 8 is a little bit better for me. You know, going through the size is, is a lot better for length. The Dame 9, it runs a little bit long, longer than the Harden Volume 8. Like there's a little bit more length. So uh, I feel like if I went down half a size, it would be a little bit better for me here in the Dame 9. So if you want a really, really, really snug fit in the Dame 9, then go, tr uh, go down half a size. Um, but if you want to be a little bit more on the safer side of things, but it'll still be a little bit roomy, then go true to size for the day line. But uh, the Harden Volume 8 just fits me better uh, since I went true to size, right? So there's that. Moving on to the support in lockdown, I mean, I had zero issues. You know, <laughs> lateral containment, I zero problems, right? And no matter how big you are, no matter how shifty you are, you're going to be covered for lateral containment. So for the Harden Volume 8, obviously you have this crazy foam. You're going to be good to go. 
uh, for lateral cathabia. Your foot's not coming out of the footbed at all, right? Uh, and here in the day mat, same thing. You know, we have this crazy plastic piece. We have the upper, which is super uh, supportive, very stiff feeling. So yeah, the overall upper is very, very supportive for both of the shoes, especially for lateral containment and lateral stability. They're probably around the same width. Um, it seems like the Dame 9 is just a tiny bit. Actually, it, the Dame 9 is wider. Pretty interesting. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they're both laterally stable. I didn't have any issues with the hardy volume with lateral instability. And as far as the heel lockdown goes, however, uh, the hardy volume is just a tiny bit better for me, you know? Uh, maybe it's because the Dame 9 was a little bit long, but uh, it wasn't heel slippage and it wasn't terrible. But uh, for me in the Dame 9, it just didn't feel completely locked down when I was playing in the Dame 9. So uh, yeah, the overall heel lockdown is a little bit better in the hard volume mate for me personally, right? So there's a support and lockdown there. Moving on to the weight of the shoe. Uh, they're both kind of heavy, you know what I mean? So uh, let's check the Dame 9. It comes in at 13.55 ounces. Let's check the hard volume mate comes in at 14.35 ounces, right? Uh, and uh, definitely the Harding Volume 8 feels uh, pretty bulky here in the heel, like in the back of the shoe and also like underneath the heel right over here. So yeah, um, I, it's, just, it's kind of weird though because the Harding Volume 8 doesn't feel like heavier than the Dame 9 per se. You know what I mean? Like the overall weight of the shoe doesn't feel an ounce heavier, which is kind of crazy. You know, um, and as far as the overall responsiveness goes, I feel pretty dang quick playing in both of the shoes. It just feels a little bit, you know, heavier and a little bit bulkier uh, on foot than, you know, a shoe that's really minimal, like, I don't know, the Jaw 2 or the Sabrina 2. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna feel pretty dang quick playing in both of the shoes because, you know, traction's good, low to the ground cushion uh, and support and lockdown's really good, right? It's just uh, the Dame 9 just feels a little bit more like thick for the overall upper. You know what I mean? Uh, the Harding Volume 8 feels a little bit more minimal in that way, you know? Uh, but it does feel bulkier here in the back of the heel. It's just a weird kind of dynamic uh, that's going on in, <laughs> in both of the shoes. So there is the weight there. Moving on to the ventilation, uh, both of the shoes kind of suck, but the Harding Volume 8 is gonna be a little bit better because you have this whole, uh, like on top of your foot, this whole part is a little bit more well ventilated than the day nine with this neoprene material and this leather, you know? So uh, the hard environment is going to be better for ventilation and moving on to the aesthetics. I like the hard environment a little bit better, right? Day nine looks okay. It's growing on me. It's still not the best looking shoe. And also there's a lot of crease marks from the, uh, the light strike, which I don't like too much. Uh, but also for the hard environment, there's a lot of crease marks on the foam as well. So uh, either way, uh, Besides the crease marks, the overall design, I think the hard volume mate looks a little bit better. Still not my favorite design for a shoe, right? So tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. So wrapping things up, in my personal opinion, I like the hard volume mate a little bit better. You know, the traction is just a tiny bit better, especially on dust. The cushion I like better as well. And they're both very, very supportive. And also the hard volume mate fits me a little bit better. But it is $40 more expensive for 160 bucks, right? 160 bucks, you get a, an amazing performing hoop shoe. Uh, but the Dame 9 for 120 bucks, if you're trying to save money, this is also a pretty dang nice option. In my personal opinion, however, there are better options out there Especially if you're a guard, if you want a lighter, lightweight shoe and still like pretty nice, I mean the Dame 9 has pretty dang nice cushion, you know? But just this nice cushioning setup, you know, there's a lot better options out there. Like the Kai 1, for example, the Kai 1 has better underfoot cushion. Uh, it's softer for the cushion as well, uh, while still being responsive, right? And also the upper is way more minimal in the toe box, while still having a really nice cozy feel uh, in the tongue and ankle area while still being uh, a little bit lighter than the day nine, you know what I mean? But if you do want a really supportive, very sturdy feeling kind of like tank of a shoe that you can still feel pretty responsive in, uh, then the Dame 9 is still a pretty good option. Uh, but again, in my personal opinion, I would choose the Harden Volume Mate uh, performance wise, right? But anyways, that about concludes this versus video between the Harden Volume Mate and the Dame 9. Again, they're both really nice, but I would have to say the Harden Volume Mate is uh, the better performer overall, right? Uh, again, if you guys do want to cop either of these shoes, I try to leave in the free link in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.